privilege of chairing this opening session. Thank you for joining us from across the globe as we come together to explore this year's theme of navigating online education in the age of AI. Um, you are more than welcome to use the chat pane to introduce yourself and also to let us know where you are from. It's my honour to introduce Prof. Loretta Ferris, the Vice Principal Academic at the University of Pretoria, who will then officially open photos for us. Her leadership has been instrumental in shaping academic plans and learning and teaching policies at UP, especially in these times of change and innovation in higher education. Prof. Ferris is known to be a transdisciplinary thinker and her commitment to social and environmental justice has had a profound impact within academia and civil society. We are very fortunate to have you here with us today, Prof, to share your insights on navigating online education in this transformative age of AI. Prof, are you here with us and able to share your um, microphone? We, I see, let me just quickly edit our rights over there. Uh, Prof Ferris, you have now been given presenter rights. If you are maybe able to switch on your microphone and camera. Um, Wonderful. Good morning, Dr. Wolf. Yes, um, I wasn't able to, to join. Um, I just want to make sure that everybody can hear me. Yes, we can hear you clearly. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you for, for that um, warm introduction and um, good morning to everyone or good day, I should say, because I'm not sure where, where everybody is joining from. Um, but welcome to, to this um, online symposium. Um, it's, a, it's really an honor for us to, um, to host you, even though it's virtually on behalf of, of the University of Pretoria. The event over the next two days uh, marks the fourth fully online distance education symposium. And I think it's of critical importance um, that we have these kinds of conversations as we navigate a crucial moment um, that's marked by the transformative impact of artificial intelligence in the realm of online education. But let me... Um, start by actually acknowledging some key participants in the symposium. A particularly warm welcome goes to our keynote speaker, Professor Helen Crompton, who will address us on generative AI in education, tools and implications for teaching and learning. Professor Crompton travels the world as an authority and a recognized expert on artificial intelligence, and she will be properly introduced by Dr. Wolf, but I just wanted to acknowledge um, her presence today. And then I also wish to acknowledge all the presenters and the attendee, attendees, both local and abroad, and then, of course, in particular, the organizers of this symposium, um, Dr. Eugenie Wolf and Marie van Beek. Now, I I think that the symposium, as, as indicated, comes at a very crucial time. Uh, but we always, of course, have to think about the value of, of education, even when we face these kind of disruptive moments. And I do think that AI is yet another disruptive moment in education. We've, we've had in 2020, 2021, um, COVID, which was really disruptive. But at the same time, that particular disrupt, disruption, I think, allowed many of us to begin to think differently about um, the virtual space. I mean, I, I'm not quite sure that we would have been in, in this moment in a virtual online conversation, virtual symposium, if it was not for, for the lessons learned through COVID. So each um, moment of disruption, I think, brings with it um, some opportunities. But I want to, to, to also quote Malcolm X, who said in the 1960s that education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. 
and I think it's 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 quite a, a an important quote for us to to keep at the back of our mind. And Malcolm X, of course, may be an interesting choice because he by no means had any meaningful scholastic achievements behind his name. However, I think he understood very deeply the value of education in building a meaningful future. So today in the age of AI, with, with all its opportunities, but also all of its challenges, I think that every participant in the symposium is likely actively involved in the business of preparing for, for that future. So yeah, the key theme of the symposium is the role of artificial intelligence AI in shaping the future of fully online education. And in recent times, we have witnessed how AI, in terms of its opportunities, can be used to redefine our teaching practice, our learning experience, our curriculum design, our assessment practices, et cetera. And, but, but of course, um, it is an evolving technology and we keep on, on learning. And so I don't think this can be a, a one-time conversation. So whilst AI may have been on our agendas last year, it continues to be on, on our agenda. And I think we need to continue to think about um, how it can inform our, our own um, capacity and skills to, on the one hand, um, employ it effectively in teaching, but at the same time, I think guide um, students in, in, the, in the, especially the ethical use of it. Because um, on the one hand, I think AI is is a is a maybe a tool for ensuring exam integrity, but we also know when it comes to assessment, it it can be it can be abused. So um, we, for the most part, at the University of Pretoria, sees the developments in AI as positive. We are a university that's ever expanding in terms of numbers. If I just pause for a moment and the context of South Africa is, which is very much part of that context that we have in Africa, is that um, unlike other parts of the world, we have a growing youth. And, and so we have a young population, we have a population that needs to be educated. And that puts pressure on universities in terms of their physical space, their physical infrastructure, their physical ability or their ability to physically accommodate these growing numbers on our campuses. And so the online space um, um, assists us in, in that regard. But in addition, I think AI is enabling us to become more creative and innovative in the ways of thinking about how do we increase and expand our offerings in teaching and learning and, and extend our, our reach um, not just within our own country, but beyond the borders of, of the country. And that's also exposed students in that way in, in a much more diverse and, and um, in, uh, inclusive um, experience. So, um, but having said that, I, I think we also need to acknowledge the complexity and the duality of AI as a tool with immense benefits, but also, as I've already alluded to, it, it poses some, some ethical concerns, it poses some challenges in, in terms of how we teach and how we, how we assess, how we research, etc. But I think within this context of complexity, one, um, it, it's clear to me when I look at the, at the impressive program for the next two days that, um, that the complexity is at the heart of, of the symposium. And when I look at the list of speakers and the topics of the presentations and the workshop, it tests that there are skilled professionals, skilled um, and passionate educators who are ready to address the, the complexity, ready to, to look at the potential risks and concerns of AI in, in the higher education space and in the online space in particular. So um, interesting topics that, that I've noticed on the program include AI in, in education, student feedback, coding and robotics, um, videos for surgical procedures, quality assurance, which is very important, immersive learning, um, and much more. And, and um, really, we're welcoming 
all of these conversations. And as Vice Principal Academic, who's responsible for undergraduate teaching and learning, um, including distance and, and uh, fully online education, I'm, I would really um, like to, to get the outcomes of, of the symposium, would really love to see um, what the conversations um, ended up in terms of, of of um, exact outcomes, what is the way forward, what is the contribution that the symposium is making to our thinking um, around this. And, and it comes for us at the university at a very opportune moment because we are about to, um, to come at the end of our current strategic plan and we are beginning the process of planning for the future. So, so we're really thinking of what is coming down the line. How do we plan for it? How do we prepare for it? So, so really happy that, that this comes, at least for our university, at such an opportune moment. I wish you the best for, for the symposium. I would like to encourage every participant to actively engage, even though you may not be sitting next to each other. And uh, may your experiences of today and tomorrow richly contribute to your preparation for the many educational tomorrows that will come, um, as, as was as indicated by, by uh, Malcolm X. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor. We really appreciate it. Um, and indeed, the speakers on the topics attest to the professionals um, and the passion that they have for higher education. Um, I think all of us are looking forward to the next two days where we'll talk a bit about the complexity of AI in the education space. Um, once again, thank you very much for being available this morning to do the welcome. Thank you. Um, we